Hey guys, it's Marco here in the Easy Shop with a very quick update on something that I should have done a long time ago. But I just finally finished it up uh, this afternoon, and that's the limit switches on the mill. They're finally in, they're finally working. I'm gonna show you really quick uh, what I ended up doing with them. All right, pardon the shaking. I'm gonna try to keep it as steady as possible. And let's see, we're gonna start out with the X axis here. Give you, why don't you take a look at it? That's attached to this rail. This rail is uh, actually moves with the table. And uh, there's a cam that I made a, a while back. And as you'll see, when the little limit switch here hits the cam, it's gonna trigger the X axis uh, of stop. Let's move over to the uh, Y axis. And here yeah, I tried to do something a little bit different. And uh, I machined this little round cam on the lathe and attached a limit switch. Let's move around this way, you might be able to see it. With this uh, little bracket. I'm gonna move up uh, after the z-axis. See that little round cam worked so well that I decided to repeat it on the z-axis. Just using existing holes uh, uh, wherever I could. And so there you have it. There's the cam for the z-axis. Let me switch for the z-axis. And uh, I wanna Pan out here for a second, and we're gonna splice in some uh, uh, videos of the uh, limit switches being triggered. Hope you liked it. Take care. Uh -huh.